Hello and welcome to Kids Came in Sunday School. I'm Eden. And I'm Sarah. And today is Father's Day. To all the dads out there, especially my dad, I wanted to say Happy Father's Day. And one of the names of the God is Father. A lot of times when people pray, they will say, they will say Heavenly Father. Actually, when Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he taught them a prayer that most of you might know. We call it the Lord's Prayer, and it starts out with the words, Our Father. Eden, I think it might be fun to say that prayer with the people at home. What do you think? I, I like the idea. Would it's you say true. it with me? Sure. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Our Bible passage this morning is another prayer. Do you remember David from David and Goliath's story? Yeah. Yeah. What did he eventually become after that? He became a, he became a king. Yeah, and he also wrote a lot of part of one book of the Bible. Do you remember which book that was? I think it's Psalms. It is Psalms. He wrote this prayer that we're going to read this morning from the book of Psalms. And actually, technically, you're going to read it. And as Eden reads this prayer from Psalms, I want you guys at home to listen for the action words that David is asking God to do. And I want you to listen for the descriptive words that David is using to describe who God is. I'm going to read from Psalm 86, verses 1 through 10, and also skip over to verses 16 and 17. I'm using my Deep Blue Kids Bible. If you have a Bible at home, you can read along with us. It, the book of Psalms can be found about halfway through the Bible. We're looking for chapter 86. Chapters are marked by big, by big numbers and verses are marked by the little ones. Let's read our passage. Psalm 86, A Prayer of David Lord, listen closely to me and answer me, because I am poor and in need. Guard my life because I am faithful, Sa because I am faithful. Save your servant. Who trusts in you? You, my God, have mercy on me, Lord, because I cry out to you all day long. Make your servant's life happy again, because, my Lord, I offer my life to you. Because, my Lord, you are good and forgiving, full faithful love. For all those who cry out to you, listen closely to my prayer, Lord. Pay close attention to the sound of my requests for mercy. Whenever I am in trouble, I cry out to you because you will answer me. My Lord, there is no one like you among the gods. There is nothing that can compare to, you, to your works. All the nations that you've made will come and they will glorify your name. Mm. And because you are awesome, a wonder worker, you are God, just you. And now we're going to skip over to verses 16 through 17. Come back to me. Have mercy on me. Give your servant your strength. Save this child of your servant. Show me a sign of your goodness so that who, those who hate me will see it and be put to shame. Show a sign that you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Thank you, Eden. You're welcome. So let's talk about those action words that I asked you guys to listen for. Those things that David is asking God to do. Did you hear any or let's pick up any as you read, Eden? Yeah, I picked up on some. What did you hear or what did you read? Listen closely. Answer me. Guard my life. That After that one, I, I had to write down one that I heard you saying that I didn't hear, or that I didn't pick up when I was reading and preparing for this, he also then said, save your servant. That yep. was one that I that I didn't catch the first time 
or the second or third time as I was preparing for this the Sunday school lesson. So he said, save your servant. Have mercy on me. Make your servant's life happy again. Then he said, listen. listen he said, again listen again. Yep. To my prayer. Come back to me. Have mercy on me. And show me a sign of your goodness. Yeah, he he was not, David was not shy about asking God for bold things. He asked God for these things, though, with confidence because he knows who God is. As David asks, he also gives reminders as he's asking of God's character. Let's look at the other thing that I asked you guys to do as Eden was reading. Let's look at what David says about God as he prays to him. Did you pick up on any of those things? The first thing I saw was that he called him Lord. And the Hebrew word that is the translation for that word Lord is the word Adonai. And it's a name that is used in place of another word that was a word for God, Yahweh. And it is reserved to just talk about God and God alone. It's a special word that people used only to talk about God, and they didn't use it to talk about anyone else. Like sometimes when we um, use the word, like for instance, brother, like we use it to talk about people that are actually our biological brothers, but we also use it to talk about like our brother in Christ or our somebody who we consider a brother that's not necessarily officially related to us. This is a word that was a special word that people only used to talk about God. And it was a term that they used just for God. And so when people heard this word, Adonai, they knew that David was talking about God and God alone. And then he said, there's no one like you. And so it kind of backed up that word Adonai with this phrase, there's no one like you. So he wanted to reinforce that that this thing that I'm talking about, God, and God is special. What else did you notice that you said about who God is? You are awesome, a wonder worker, strong, because David asked for God's strength. Mm -hmm. You helped me, and you comforted me. Yeah, those are great catches, Eden. And so when you guys pray, I want you to remember that you can ask God for bold things, but I also want you to remember who you are talking to when you pray. Think about who you are praying to, and I want you to remember who God is. He is the Lord. There is no one like him. He is awesome, a wonder worker, strong, helper, comforter, and much, much more. The Bible is actually full of names for God and pictures of God. I actually um, have this really cool book called I Am 40 Stories and Devotions and Prayers About the Names of God. It's a really cool book. I want to get it out to some of you. Um, because I just think it's really a really cool book. Because sometimes when we read the Bible, um, actually Nolan's bringing it over here. Thank you, Nolan. So here's here it what is. it looks like. Hi, Nolan. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Nolan. So this is what the book looks like. Um, and it actually is, I like it because sometimes when we read the Bible, we miss um, some of the things that it says about who God is. And so this book helps us to catch those things in some of the stories that we read a lot. And so... We need to remember that when we're praying to God, who he is, and we can ask him for those things and we can have confidence when we ask him because we know who he is and we can trust that he is who he says he is in his word. And you know what I think would be fun, even though that, um, you know what I think would be fun instead of memorizing the Bible verse this week? What? We could work on memorizing the Lord's Prayer. We said it earlier here. This, we said it earlier, and here it is again. My mom posted it on the Kids Kingdom pl at Plymouth First UMC Facebook page. I, and and do you want to say it with me? Sure, I'll say it with you. Three, two, one. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. If you already have heard the Lord's 
prayer and memorized it, try memorizing the actual Bible passage that came from Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13, or Luke 11, verses 2 through 4. One thing you can do is to help you memorize the Lord's Prayer is a fun technique using a paper plate and some yarn, string, twine, or ribbon, like that. Take your paper plate and make three slits at the top, bottom, and on each side. Attach an extra long piece of yarn or ribbon or whatever you are using to the back of your paper plate and weave it through the slits as you say the words to the prayer. So you, you say the prayer and I'll weave while you say it, okay? Okay. So you just keep saying it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Le but lead us not into temptation and but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So as you practice, you can weave it through, and as you weave it through, you can say the words, and it'll help you to memorize the words. And it looks like a cross. And it looks like a cross when you're done. It's kind of cool. Another thing that you can do with the same plate in the same technique is add another color, and you can, so just tape another color right to the back, and you can add people that you want to pray for. Sometimes for me, I know that um, it can be hard to stay focused when I want to pray for people. So um, this might help you keep your mind on what you're praying for and keep your mind focused on who you're praying to. So this week, some of the things that I would like to pray for are the people that were planning on going on the ASP trip, the Appalachia Service Project trip. We had a group that was planning to go help some people that live in the Appalachian area, and they were going to go help make homes safer, warmer, and drier, and they're a little sad that they didn't get to go on that trip. But I also want to pray for the people who live in those homes that needed help who aren't going to be able to get that help now because people couldn't go because they had to stay home because of the, the COVID. So we want to pray for all those people. And then my friend Michelle, her mother-in-law Cassie had back surgery this week. So I want to pray for Cassie and her healing and recovery. And then I want to pray for all of you watching our videos this week. That you're doing well and staying healthy and all that good stuff. So you add a color and it helps you think about the people you want to pray for at home. Yeah. I know that sometimes praying can be tough, but what I love about our verse and our passages this week is that it reminds us that God is always ready and willing to hear from us 24-7. He's never too busy, and I love how our psalm helps us remember that. I think it's and, pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's really cool. And your challenge this week is to spend some time in prayer. Be like David. Talk to him about what is on your heart and mind, and know that he is there. That's all for today. Happy Father's Day to all those dads out there, especially my dad. And see you next time. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Bye.